Hi folks, today we intend to show you how to create a geodatabase. Now the ArcMap uses ArcatLog to create geodatabases so we can store our feature classes. Our feature classes are the points, lines and polygons that we use to describe the features we have on a particular map. So for every project, the ideal thing for you to do is to create a geodatabase for that project. So we have this project here. If you look closely, we have our uh, um, an image here, satellite image, and what we intend to do is to create a geodatabase geo to contain some of our feature classes here, that means some of the things we are going to be describing, features we will have, example, if you look at this image, if you see we have parcels of land, so parcels is one of our feature and it's going to be a polygon feature. We also intend to digitize these unpaved streets, so these unpaved streets are line features, they are also some of the feature classes we are going to have to create. And some of these trees here, because the trees are important to us, the project actually is majoring in the on the plot that will, may lead to destruction of some of these trees. So we are going to target those parcels. And if you look clearly here, um, we have the trees as point features. So we are going to have those as point feature classes. So we need to design a geo database to contain all these feature classes so that our data can be well arranged. So the first thing we do is to get our catalog. If you don't have your catalog here, you can go here here and click on this and your catalog will open right on this side of the window. The next thing is that we have to connect to a folder. You should have created a project folder. Our project folder is created already in C drive. Our project folder is called creating. So let's go back up. Creating a file geodatabase using our catalog. So this we're going to connect to folder we can clone it and say okay and straight away it comes up here as a folder so this folder is going to contain our geo database this project folder so to start up we right click on it new file geo database you can take personal you can take file but for the purpose of this demonstration we take file so we take the file and here we can name it so our name here at uh, the name here will be a tree project so we have a tree project and that is it so now with the tree project we will need a feature data set the hierarchy basically in geo in ArcMap is that we have a geo database and then we have a feature data set our feature data set is to contain our feature classes that have the same geographic extent so since everything in this map is within the same geographic extent all we have to do is to create a feature data set for our feature classes so we go a new and that's feature data set so we click on that a feature data set is going to be called layout survey now layout tree survey layout tree survey and then we do next what's most important here is the coordinate system and the feature data set to carry because the feature data set has to carry the coordinate system that all the feature classes we have in common so we're taking wgs 1984 or yeah and we see next now we don't have any vertical coordinate system so we move on we take all these defaults and we finish automatically if you look here our feature data set is now appearing as a subset of our geo database tree project so now it's time to create our feature classes so we right click new feature class so our first feature class is going to be the trees themselves and remember they are point features 
we do next we take this to fault and next now one thing again is that on the attribute table you will be this field enables you to add new fields object id and shape are the default field so our new field we would like to have the type of tree it is so we'll put type and we'll now text because it's going to be um, a text a text um, starter type remember to put your data type as text you can reduce the length over here but we'll leave it as 50 and finish now if you notice here on our from our geo database our feature data step our trees feature class has been created as a subset of our da feature data set if you look up here it has also been added onto the table of contents as a feature layer so the next one we want to do is the passes we come back to the feature data set right click again new feature class this time we say parcel and then remember the parcel are pulling on features we just choose position next the same thing before but for the field name this time we'll each polygon each parcel should have a parcel parcel underscore number so this will be a short integer parcel number should be a short integer I will finish and automatically pass is created if you look at your catalog right under is coming a subset of the feature data set so, so the next one is the streets the same process new feature class and we put street and here these are line features you know streets are line features next default of course each street should have a street name so and that street name should be a text and then we finish and street is there and if you look clearly I have parcel street and trees right inside our feature data set which is inside our geo database tree project so now if you look at the map also all the layers have been added to the map and if you right click this open you will notice that we have shape and type which is the okay we have object shape and type this is the field we created when we were creating this feature class or the field we added when we we're creating the feature class so basically if this is if you click this thing you shape project click that in open it open this is exactly how we design a geo database so we have an hierarchy so if we are looking for this particular feature class we know that it is within this feature data set and uh, thanks for listening and uh, feel free to send in your comments